Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead, back in the off-grid cabin uh, today. You guys know in the off-grid cabin we're looking for lighting. We have been doing lots of research in different lighting uh, styles and colors and ambiences that we're wanting for the off-grid cabin. And we have found one that I think that we're going to really enjoy. It is called the Jackie LED Light System. Now this is a swing arm wall sconce. Um, it can be mounted on the wall sideways or it, and, hang, and hang out at a 90 degree angle or it can be hung straight above you and hang straight down. So we're going to take this thing out of the box here. Now it's got to be put together. It's not hard to put together. It's uh, very easy as a matter of fact. I'm going to lay some of the stuff out here because actually... Um, not as bad as it looks like it is. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packs here. We love the color of it. It is an antique brass look, which is something that uh, Wanda and I was interested in. On the uh, swing arm part of it here is an antique brass. The bell part of it and the housing, I guess you would call it, is like a, uh, an oil rubbed bronze color to a blackish color, which is okay with us because that's kind of the color that we're looking for here. And I'm going to take parts of it out here where I can assemble it. Show you that it's not really hard to assemble. It has very easy to assemble. Has a, a, I call it a jam nut on it here. We're going to be sticking that part on. And let me see if I can get one of these out of here. Take it out of the pack. The bell goes on it. And we're going to um, stick this jam nut on here. See if we can't. Get this thing screwed up on there. Okay. And this is actually what we're looking at here now. It is very simple. Now this arm that I was telling you about, you can hang it at 90 degree and hang off the wall back here. Or you can turn this wing nut on it here. And you can adjust it to where it can hang straight down. Now we will be using it in both applications because we have two of them here. We will be using one at a 90 degree and one hanging straight down. For the uh, video purposes, I'm going to do it at the 90 degree. Now, on the back of it here, there is a nut and a washer on it. We're going to take that nut and washer off. We are going to put on a housing. Now, this housing here is a standard housing that will mount, it has two holes in it, it will mount to most of your uh, outlet boxes so that you don't have to do any kind of modification or anything like that, it will mount to most of them and it's not a problem. This is a ground wire here that will go on. Next After you put the ground wire on, you will put a star-shaped washer on. And then your nut goes on. Really a simple installation. This back plate can be rotated in any uh, direction depending on how your junction box is on the wall. Now this one, this type of wiring system here is used specifically if you are wiring it directly to a wall box. Now this is a multi-purpose light. This one can wire to an electrical cord with a switch or wire to the wall. Now we're going to show you here how we're going to wire this to a switch. I have a cord here somewhere. Here we go. 
all the cord it comes with a it's a pretty long cord i'm gonna say it's probably um six foot it's a good six foot cord and in the side of this here you will see a hole in the side of this plate you can stick your wire through that hole it's a little stiff to push it in but that's good because it won't pull out there's also a little uh piece that comes with this that um, allows you to double up your cord here where it doesn't there's no chance of pulling it back out I'm not going to put that on there right now just simply because it's just for video purposes I'm just showing uh, putting this wire in here let me figure out which one's the white wire here right quick I'm just going to twist these together temporarily here and put a wire note on them just to show you How simple this can be to install. Now you would do this to uh, the code specifications wherever you live at. It has a ground wire here. This ground wire would ground into your ground wire and your wiring system in the home. I don't have that here for video purposes right now. We're just going to show it as is. And as you guys can see, safety device here. We're going to get that off. I have a little generator here behind me with a fan going. That's how I'm staying cool. I'm going to unplug the fan. And I'm going to plug that in. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the light bulb out. Now this is the part of this that we liked. This thing has an it's like an Edison light bulb. We like the uh, we like the look of that because it's not a real, real bright light bulb. And two, on top of this, there's these little adjustments here. You tighten these little screws down to tighten down against this to make sure your bell and everything is in, uh, is in good working order there. Now we're going to... Okay. This is more of an orange look on a light. It's not... Uh, it's a yellowish look. It's the old-fashioned light look. That's what we're after. Now, guys, it didn't take me any longer than that to put this thing together and wire it up temporarily for y'all to see. It's not much more than that when you're hooking it up in the house. This thing has multi-purpose. You, you can use the extension cord that comes with it with a rocker switch, turn the light on, turn it off, or you can wire it directly into the box on the house with this right here. We will be uh, wiring ours directly into the house. We're using the box back here because we have a light switch that we'll be turning it on and off with. So the cord is probably not something we'll use, but if you have a situation where you want to use it with a rocker switch, like maybe a sconce beside your bed at night or something like that, and you don't have a plug-in available to do it off of, you can just plug it into a wall outlet down below you and have a rocker switch where you can turn it on and off next to your bed. And guys, you can just screw this directly to the wall here. Put you some anchors in the wall put your screws in it screw it to the wall wire it directly to the light switch and you got a light beside your bed to read at night or whatever you need it for so guys i wanted to uh encourage you guys to go check out the jackie led light we have found them they seem like they're going to be the light for us here in the cabin to use in our kitchen area because of the uh the look that it has and in our hallway we're going to probably leave the the low wattage bulb on at night will be like a night light for us to leave on so that we can see to get around in the cabin at night with. Um, and and that's, that's kind of important to us. So if you're interested in looking at the Jackie LED products, uh, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Go check them out. Uh, I think that you'll enjoy them because they're, you've seen how quick and easy I put it together. There's really nothing to it. Anyone can do it. Uh, it's really a nice looking fixture for an off-grid situation or for a wall sconce beside your bed or something at night so that you can have a way to read. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.